Welcome back to another episode of Restyled. Today we have a very fun and festive episode for you since we are heading into one of my personal favorite holidays, Halloween. So Halloween is a big thing here at Poshmark since we're all very spirited and it's so fun because you really can find so many cool, unique pieces that aren't just a spirit Halloween costume on Poshmark. And we actually see a ton of shoppers sourcing on the app for their costumes. Um, so to celebrate, we're going to take you guys for a little trip around the office and chat with Team Posh about all things Halloween and fall um, to celebrate the new season. I am joined by EJ. Hello, EJ. What's up? What's up? Love your fit. Thank Looking you. very fall with the green. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Uh, excited to chat with you and have you back on Restyle. It's awesome to be back. It's going to be great. Um, and we have a special um, little surprise for you guys. Today on Restyle, we're doing actually a Halloween costume contest. So basically how it works is you'll drop your Halloween costume in the comments whether it's what you're already planning on being this month, or maybe you're using something from Poshmark or secondhand vintage from your wardrobe. We wanna hear what you're being for Halloween. So go ahead and drop those in the comments with your Poshmark closet name, and we'll be picking the most creative and giving you a chance to be featured on the next episode, upcoming episode of Restyle. So in the Bay Area, the first week or two of October is always like our kind of heat wave where we actually get a little bit of summer in San Francisco. So we're having a little bit of heat wave to this week, but I know the end of this month, we're really going to get into those fall cozies. Oh, man, um, what are you excited about for fall fashion? Honestly, I think the, I think the over, the overzealous with just like jackets and coats and all that stuff like that, especially lightweight layering too. Yep. I mean, my whole wardrobe is all about fall. Totally. You know, I love the flannels. I love the workwear style mm -hmm. stuff. And then like your shirt. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> this is a, a little bit of workwear. Yeah, a little bit of workwear. This is a Ben Davis opening ceremony collaboration. And then I also got some raw denim uh, straight leg jeans from Flathead. So cool. And, uh, you know, got this capital hat right here. A little so trucker hat. So good. I love it. How about yours? Um, I have a Saison sweater on. This, um, I think, actually is a top search term on Poshmark right now. What? Saison sweater. <laughs> um, and I love it. I feel like these are, like, good forever pieces um, that definitely, and they definitely have tons on Poshmark, which is great. Um, and I think red is just, like, a solid color year-round. I've been so into red this year. Um, and then this is a dress from And Other Stories that I actually thrifted in San Diego um, at a thrift store and my little New Balances that I wear like every single day. I love so. it with the trainers. Yes, it's, it's so good. I, cool. A dress in like trainers I think is just like a great fun juxtaposition. I know, comfort. Yeah, comfort <laughs> first. Cool, well I'm excited to go chat more fall things and Halloween with Team Posh. Should we go find some team members to chat with? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it, all right, come on guys. My name is Philip, and my role here at Poshmark hey. is community manager for the Dispute team. Amazing. And let's start it off with a hot take. Yep. Do you love or hate pumpkin spice lattes, and why? Oh, man. Uh, I love pumpkin spice lattes. I don't know if that makes me a bad person or not, but uh, I love it, and I'm sticking to my guns there. And what is your favorite Halloween candy? Favorite Halloween candy? Oh, Twix, man. Twix all the way. Yes. Any ones? Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I think chocolate by far is like the superior candy. Same. I am chocolate over salt, uh, sour. Same. Yeah. Same. And do you have any fun fall traditions? Fun fall traditions? Um, I mean, I'm a little older now. I used to go out and party for Halloween. Yes. Uh, but no, I mean, honestly, the fall. Uh, man, I'm trying to think at the top of my head right now. <laughs> any pumpkin carving still in your life? Uh, pumpkin carving, yeah. I don't know. Me and my girlfriend actually plan on doing some pumpkin carving this this uh, this month. Amazing. Um, and then uh, I don't know. Now that we're a little older, maybe we might just sit inside, wait for the kids to come kids over, to come. and hand out candy. I know. I feel so, like that's like the fun thing yeah, these days, yeah. seeing all the costumes. Definitely. Oh, and then of course, do Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. yeah, so yeah, you know, celebrating with uh, family who I haven't seen in a while. So mm -hmm. yeah, getting everybody together, eating some good food. So, yes. Yeah, definitely. Amazing. Yeah. I can't wait for Thanksgiving. That's like my yeah. fave. Same. Same. <laughs> All of your cool. Awesome. Well, yeah. thank you so much, Philip. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. Right on. 
Hi, Rina. Hi. Can I ask you a couple of quick questions for yeah, Restyled? Of course. Amazing. Hi, I'm Rina. Um, I'm a social media intern here. Awesome. And let's, uh, can you tell us whether you will, you love or hate pumpkin spice lattes and why? I'm not a fan. Oh. Yeah. I like, I love like the idea of it, yeah. but not, not a big fan of the actual like drink <laughs> itself. Have you tried the pumpkin cold foam okay that situation? i like yeah i do like that situation no i actually agree i feel like that's a little more subtle. yeah the psl is a little like it's a lot yes and so i don't know i've <laughs> never been a fan i love it and do you have any fun fall traditions um every year my friends and i we usually go to like a pumpkin patch oh. or like do something fun like that and like get apple cider get wow. the old donuts wear a scarf yes exactly do a photo shoot yes. the whole nine yards i love it so but, fun yeah. i love it well thank you so much for chatting yeah, with thanks us for having me um and i'll definitely get you a pumpkin spice latte tomorrow i'm just sure. kidding <laughs> <laughs> hey can Hi. we ask you some quick questions for restyle sure yeah. amazing i'm asia i'm on the product marketing team awesome and do you are you team pumpkin spice latte or not? I am. It would have to have oat milk, um, but I do love a good PSL. Oats are also like very fall, so I feel like yeah. those go hand in hand. Yeah. I might need to try that. Okay, yeah, definitely <laughs> add it to the list. And what is a trend you are most excited to wear for fall? Um, like today, I love a good riding boot. Got yes. these on Poshmark. So those are so cute, yeah. Toy Birch. Yeah, love. so I definitely am looking forward to a lot of boots this year. Me too. I yeah. feel like those are a forever piece. Yes, I love those. Yes. Amazing. Well, thank you so much, Asia. Thank you. Hey, how's it going? Good. We're going to do a couple of quick questions with you for Restyled. Hi, my name is Wincy. I am an associate director of growth here. Awesome. And are you team pumpkin spice latte or not? No, you're good on that. No, I'm a classic coffee girl. Yes. No flavoring. I love it. I know. I feel like if I, ha if I do it, it's like a normal coffee with like a pump of pumpkin, mm. but like not the whole nine The yards. hint of the season. Exactly. Mm. Um, I'm mm. also more like into peppermint. Ooh, yeah. I'm going to try that. Yeah. I'll give really it a good. shot. And what is the trend that you're excited for for fall? It's got to be cardigans. Yes. I know. Look at us. Yeah. Twinning. <laughs> I love it. I know. I also, we were just talking about how Saison cardigans are like, searches are like through the roof on mm. Poshmark right now. It is so a good time definitely, to get steel. Yeah. Something to check out. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Mincy. Yeah. <laughs> Later, guys. That was so much fun. Um, I feel like I got so many good costume ideas. <laughs> and I also love hearing about everyone's hot takes on the fall traditions. Yeah. Um, so now, EJ, let's dive a little deeper into what you think as the merch expert, <laughs> um, the big hot Halloween costumes are going to be this season. All right. So, well, based on the trends we were seeing, um, I definitely be seeing a lot of summer Olympic inspired costumes, mm -hmm. especially Ray Gun. Yes. And you know, for people who don't know, the Ray Gun is the Australian breaker who became a household name overnight. And for like for her track sets and for her creative approach. Yes. And honestly, like I will not be surprised if like that outfit itself mm -hmm. will be like the most popular Halloween costume. And I will say this, dude, honestly, and for a person who's been breaking for quite some time, I will say creatively always doesn't really like guarantee a solid execution. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, you know, like Phil and Ami, who absolutely killed it at the Olympics, yes. you know, deserve way more attention than uh, for their performance. <laughs> Also, Poor shout Reagan. out. Poor <laughs> No, but no. I wasn't I mean, expecting to get dragged on I mean, this episode of Reagan. thing, though. Yeah. She did thing. But, yes. you know, also a big shout out to Victor for grabbing the bronze for yes. the US. Really, pre that's so sick. So, yes. I know you kind of slid that in there, but EJ is a B-boy um, himself. I just learned that term. Um, it's called breaking, not break dancing. You're a B-boy <laughs> or a B-girl. So, I'm learning things here. Um, and you can really speak to that because you're in this space. Um, so I definitely feel like that ray gun was definitely like a highlight meme wise on like <laughs> in the sure. social sphere on oh the my Olympics. Gosh. But I totally agree. There's people that like have a lot more talent that we would I would love to see people dressing up as some of yeah. those all star athletes. Oh, too. It's all fun though. It's all yeah. fun. So So what else is on your radar? Honestly, I'm gonna be expecting a lot of movie references, mm -hmm. like honestly like Beetlejuice, Dune, and one of my favorite movies, that new Deadpool Wolverine movie. Yes. And honestly, some like 
uh, pop culture moments like Sabrina Carpenter, yep. Chapel Roan, and I know you guys were talking about Brat. Yep, Brat Summer. And <laughs> let's not forget about the couple of costumes too, like Taylor Swift and Travis Kels. I mean, they definitely were the couple of the year in terms of pop culture, social media, just everything. Um, I definitely think pop culture costumes are always a huge part of Halloween. And those have kind of really taken over Halloween. Last year we saw Justin Bieber and Hailey Bieber yeah. when he dressed like kind of scrubby and she was dressed to the nines for her uh, show. And so I feel like um, those kind of like pop culture references are a huge part of Halloween. I also think some newer ones, um, there is that Hulu show, Secret Lives of Mormon Wives. Um, that will probably be a big costume. Um, I think there's a lot of the Brat Summer um, and some of those like music and movie references for sure as well. So um, I think I actually have a really cool <laughs> purse that I got um, that's like a neon green with like a bunch of sparkles that's very Brat. Um, and so I might just keep it easy, wear a Von Dutch hat, some sunglasses, and that's purse and be Charlie XDX. Um, okay. do you know what you're going to be? Honestly, I'm thinking about doing a couple simple things. So it's either, <laughs> speaking about the Olympic, uh, summer stuff. So maybe the Turkish shooter yes. person, very simple. Maybe I can make shit for like that shirt or find on Poshmark. Yes. Or just keep it very, also pretty simple, you know, very classic, the bear, you know, yes. Carmi. Apron, white T-shirt, black, black jeans, and stuff like that. Easy. I love that you brought that up because I feel like the one of my favorite ways to do Halloween is like working with what you have in your closet and not feeling like you have to buy new stuff all the time. Um, and I think that's really the more sustainable way to do it, and definitely the Poshmark way. So exactly. finding costumes that are like pop culture, uh, Carmi, like you said, um, thing, pulling from your own wardrobe to curate a costume versus buying new, or maybe you just find one extra piece on Poshmark that really like drives it home. I love all of these ideas. Um, like I said about really tapping into those last minute costumes and not having to buy too much. Uh, I think there's tons of inspiration that you can pull from this episode and also from Poshmark. Um, there's things like wearing an all black outfit, throwing on some cat ears, um, throwing on some animal print clothing, a set of wings, um, prescription glasses, um, or a prescription list glasses, throwing <laughs> some of those little last minute things, um, pulling those from your wardrobe and grab or grabbing them on Poshmark. You can really turn, um, turn something into a last minute look for less and for more sustainably. Um, and I think that's something that I love, especially as you grow up and you're not, Halloween isn't consuming your whole month. And it's like, <laughs> oh, it's in two days. What can I wear to take my kids trick or treating or, you know, be dressed up at the front door when I'm giving out candy, that kind of thing. Um, I think that's definitely the way to do yeah, it. Yeah. And it just shows your creativity in all this. Exactly. You know I mean? And that's a great segue into Phone a Friend, my personal favorite part of the show where we tap on one of you, the members of the community, to speak to the topic at hand. Um, can't wait to hear what this lovely community member has to say about all things fall and how they are getting ready in their Poshmark closet. Take it away. Hello, I'm Tanya Jennings. My Poshmark closet is Bougie Rouge. My best tip for sourcing is look everywhere. I've purchased some amazing items at local liquidation stores. And let me tell you, don't sleep on local thrift stores. They have great vintage items at unbelievable prices. The fall trend I'm most excited about is plaid. Trendsetters are mixing it with bold patterns and bold colors like never before. That was great. Thank you so much for weighing in on your tips for all things fall. Um, really getting me excited to get shopping on the Poshmark app and um, sourcing a couple of those capsule pieces that I've been eyeing for the fall. Sure. Um, is there anything that you don't have in your current wardrobe that you're excited to rock this fall? You know, honestly, I've been looking into that barn jacket that mm -hmm. everyone's going hyped over for. Everyone <laughs> is hyped up. I actually um, saw that in the merch data, there was like a 130% increase yeah. month over month on I'm searches. Gonna, I might have, to, might have to try to find one. And I actually found two. Um, it was 
I, I kind of girl boss a little too close to the sun in the bidding <laughs> on Poshmark. And I bid on a dark color and a light color. Um, each of them were like 30 bucks, so it was fine. I ended up getting them both on accident. Yeah. Um, but they were each 30 bucks, which is literally less than half of the price of one jacket yeah, what a retail, steal. you know? Yeah. So I have a light colored one with like brown corduroy collar and cuffs, and then a dark brown one with green cuffs and corduroy. So nice. I'm definitely set for fall. I think I actually don't need anything. Yeah, no, for sure. <laughs> My whole wardrobe is fallish and San Francisco is just fall weather year round. Exactly. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you everyone for tuning in today. It has so been fun, been so much fun getting inspired for Halloween, feeling all the fall feels um, and chatting with different members of Team Posh around the office. Um, Remember to check out the description for any of the trends that we talked about um, and any of the styles that we discussed today. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification button um, to stay up to date on all things restyled. We have a jam-packed couple of months ahead with holiday. Lots of fun data and trends for you guys to apply to your Poshmark closets as, as we gear up for the big shopping season. So definitely stay tuned for all of that. And until next time, stay stylish. Bye guys. Hey.